ready and willing to provide the Office of Director of Public Prosecutions, Nuruddin Haji, with substantive information over corruption allegations that have been leveled against him. This comes a day after the DPP approved the prosecution of the governor, Ojamong, and nine other individuals over an alleged loss of 8 million shillings through questionable contract. Our Western Region-based reporter, Willie Lisige, is keeping tabs on this story for us. Embattled Busia County Governor Sospita Ojamong emerged hours after the Director of Public Prosecution, Nurdin Haji, ordered his arrest and prosecution alongside nine other officials. Speaking in Budalangi, the ODM Governor vowed to table evidence in what he termed as a beneficial project to the people of Busia. Hakuna pesa mbao ilitumika katika solid waste management ya Busia ambayo ilipotea. Kwanza kaunti ya Busia ndiyo ilipata faida kushinda ule mfadili ambayo tulikuwa tumepata. But Governor Ojamong remained adamant that no money was lost. He says the 8 million shillings was paid to Madam Ree Enterprise towards solid waste management and paying the casual cleaners. According to the governor, the money was paid to Madame Ree Enterprise in two installments of four million shillings each through a Kenyan account and termed reports that the money was channeled to a Germany account as baseless. At present, I require me to make a German. Iyo ni maneno ya wongo. Tulikuwa tunafanya Madame Ree biashara akiwa mefungua account katika family bank kisumu. Tatu limilipa mara mbili milioni moj milioni ina mara ya kwanza milioni ingine mara ya pili. Tatu kap akatuandikia report ya feasibility study ya solid waste management busia pia akawakota takataka busia county town zote kwa mwaka mmoja instead he is lamenting over his impending arrest terming it as a witch hunt uh, siogopi hata wakiniita kesho naenda lakini wakitaka pia kushika wakuja wakati wote kwa sababu hiyo ni kazi yao hiyo ni profession yao <laughs> lakini bibi tayari niko tayari kupelekwa kotini ikiwa kuna kosa According to the DPP, Governor Ojamong and his co-accused will face charges of conspiring to commit an offense of economic crime, abuse of office, engaging in a project without proper planning, and willful failure to comply with the law relating to management of funds. I want to assure Kenyans we are as clean as cotton hmm? or snow. Willie Lusige, KTN News, Busia County. Meanwhile, political players from the Upper Eastern Region have 